If you've been tested for COVID, you know what it's like to have a cotton swab put in your nose. But what you may not know is there's also an option of having a mouth swab. But is it more effective? Our reporter Allison Hall has COVID and tried out both tests. We've all seen those long lines for rapid COVID tests. Now questions are being raised about how reliable they are when it comes to Omicron. They do the nasal swab and it's negative, but then the next day they take a new kit and they swab the back of the throat and that's been positive. LA emergency room doctor Michael Daniel says nasal swabs are less likely to detect Omicron than swabs of the throat where there's more virus. <sighs> Inside Edition's Allison Hall has COVID despite being fully vaccinated. I think my dog knows that I'm sick because he has not left my side since I started feeling symptoms. She's keeping a video diary as she recovers. Her symptoms include a very sore throat, so she's drinking lots of tea. That actually helps a lot. She took two COVID home tests, one swabbing her nose, the other swabbing her throat. Throat, nose. Let's see what happens. The nose test says she is negative for COVID despite her symptoms. But the throat swab, that second red line says she is positive. So which is correct? A PCR test confirmed. COVID-19 detected. So not surprised at all about that. Dr. Daniel says the swab doesn't have to go all the way into your throat. In the cheek is fine. Just kind of like open your mouth and just kind of swab the back. You don't have to you don't have to brutalize the back of your throat. Um, just get like a good sample of saliva is the key. Mayor de Blasio says he's determined to go ahead with the iconic ball drop despite record numbers of COVID cases. Are there any discussions about scaling back the in person event further or canceling it outright? We got to send a message to the world. Uh, New York City's open.